Good morning. Morning, Zen. This is Coco and a little murder button. Little murder button. She's got it coming up. Murder button. <laughs> She's bipolar. Anyways, uh, it's a beautiful day. Look at all the beautiful flowers and the crepe myrtle, the bees and the everything are just digging it. And it is it is Sugar's big day. This is Ivy, poor Ivy. She's such a good girl. She'll play ball all day. Oh, good girl. Oh, bouncy. She's just happy. Come on, Ivy. Anyways, uh, life is good once again here in scenic Rockingham County, Reedsville. Hi, huh, Ivy. Come on, big girl. Uh, got a lot to do today. It's Sugar's big day. I sent a mass mailer out this morning because she's had like uh, nine pups, first 11, then, uh, first 11, then nine. She's heartworm positive for about four or five years. So we got a, uh, a couple of donations to get her, you know, cleaned up. And the rest of the pups, they're males. And so they're at the guy's place. But some of the first litter, yeah, got shot, sadly. Go on in there. Oh, oh, oh good girl, Ivy. And uh, she's just a little bitty thing. Little bitty thing. She's had her big night. And uh, we've been mocking him. Yes, pizza. Here you go, buddy. Here you go. It's like, he's, it's my turn. But they will see, this is sugar. She's getting fixed. She's had 20 puppies. And heartworm positive. And the vet told her wrong. There's all that. Oh, there's the slow treatment and the fast treatment and all that silly stuff. Um, and then... Uh, Dr. Byers out in California when I flew in the animals with T. Boone, he said, oh, they're going to bring, you know, uh, heartworms to the desert. Well, we don't have the mosquitoer, uh, the western tree home mosquitoer that takes the microfloria from one dog that's positive and puts it in another dog. We didn't even have that. And anyways, uh, they're all like, they're stupid. Anyways, uh, some vets just don't know. And, uh, you know, but they try, you know, they want to do the best and they worry about animals. But anyways, this sugar, she's uh, some of her, what happened was she was a, a stray and uh, she was a stray and showed up at this guy's house and he didn't know she was pregnant. Next thing you know, you know, and it's just normal dude, finances and all that stuff. <laughs> so anyway, she popped with 11 puppies. And, uh, you know, they tested her and all that. And the, the one vet told it, well, you know, with the heartworms, it's, uh, you can't spay. Well, you can, but, you know, you got to make sure that her heart is sound, this and that and the other thing. And then he told it, well, you know, just give her the heartworm prevention. So the poor guy had a unspayed animal that he was just giving heartworm prevention for, following the veterinarian's advice. And then uh, she got out, as the puppies grew, he tried to put them online to, and he just wanted a small donation that figured, you know, if somebody put some money into it, they wouldn't fight or this. And so then everybody on Facebook or wherever started cyberbullying him and calling him names. So he just, you know, took it off. And, uh, you know, I know about idiots on there and cyberbullying about, you know, he, that's what he was doing. But so anyway, she had another litter, but the first litter, um, they got out, they were getting older and he couldn't find them homes. And uh, because he took his post down and so he just tried word of mouth. Well, that didn't happen. They got older and then she got out and, uh, you know, um, they all went running around. And uh, some of the puppies of the first 11 got shot. The neighbor shot them. I don't know who would do that, but it gets worse. So then while she's out on her exodus, she gets pregnant again, has another nine, still heartworm positive, still, uh, you know, and time's marching on and still um, unspayed. And so finally, you know, it was just overwhelming. And one of the pups was getting a toy. Uh, or a leash, thought it was a leash or a toy, went to grab the toy and bit the guy's wife, not out of um, meanness, just was grabbing the wrong thing. And uh, so anyways, his wife freaked out. She finally had it with all the stuff. And so anyways, he shot a flare and uh, you know, we're here cleaning little sugars mess up. So that's high drama in dog world. But today it's her big day. 
she's uh, either treating or space. So please get those donations in because we've got to, you know, we're going to do it right. Ho, oh, ho, booty, booty, boo, zoom, 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 zoom. She's showing off. She's showing off. She's stretching her legs. She's such a zoom, 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 zoom. Oh, uh, yep, they all got it coming. Ow, put on the brakes here. But anyways, that's little sugar. All right, down, honey. Down. Oh, 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 oh. Down, go play, go play. Anyways, she's just a happy little dog. And so once we get, she's just a tiny thing. She's had 20 pups. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So that's what she's doing. She sneaks back in the barn. You know, she likes it. She'll come out and do the things. She'll go in there and watch TV. You know, she's ready for her cookies and stuff. She's just a good girl. So anyways, that's what's going on. So please get those donations in. We could use a couple of kennel sponsors or put your name or business on the van. There's a nice spot for a business. Ha, huh, Shugs. Ha, huh, Shugs. Huh. Yeah. Oh, do Yep. <laughs> so she's just cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. So anyways, there's a nice place uh, for that. You can send those donations in to s and actually save lives. So we're, we're going to get her done first since she was the culprit and the rest are males. And we're going to get them, get them, uh, get them in, you know, get the males in and get work through this whole system and clean up this, this mess. And then plus we have these guys to spay. Look at a little peaky.